I don't know how it started. Now every morning I'm faced with the same old thing. A struggle to survive. I don't know what to do, where to go for help. It's all around me. I'm drowning in it. I didn't mean for it to turn out this way. You can go into some things with the best intentions, only for it to turn bad. Anyway, I'm trapped in it now, like a dream I can't escape. Wherever I go, whatever I do, it's just there now, like a shadow I can't shake. I guess to everyone outside, it looks like nothing is wrong, but there is something very wrong. I am addicted to social media. I'm plugged in and I can't plug out. Everyone uses social media. It's ubiquitous. People grow up with it now. I would call it an addiction when it starts to interfere negatively with some key areas of people's life, creeping into important functional areas when it starts to become more than a pastime and an addiction. So I'm Dr. Stephen Proud, a consultant psychiatrist, a director of two hospitals that specialise in psychiatric illness and addiction, and I'm an addiction psychiatrist as well. Firstly, I think it feeds on itself. I think the nature of the medium, where it is mercurial, it's rapid, that sort of medium encourages people to continue to use it. There's something intrinsic about a rapidly changing image on a screen that does affect negatively people's mood. So the rapid change influences the attentional system in the brain in a variegated space and becomes worse at focusing on a solo activity for a period of time. I'm starting to realise social media is changing my brain. It now seems like everything I experience only gains meaning when it's channeled through the lens of social media. The now just exists as a raw material to feed my online life. But what can I do about it? Are there treatments? The treatment's only going to be accessible if the person with the problem wants to improve. Behavioural conditioning is going to be an important part of the treatment. Then you can use medication or psychotherapy and CBT to target their anxiety and give them the confidence so they don't just rely on social media. There are alternative treatments available, unusual non-clinical approaches. But as a consultant psychiatrist, I would never endorse those. Maybe the only way to go is cold turkey, but I know who my enemy is. Come on, do it. Do it, it's just there. Just breathe just through it. Just think about like, something else. Do something it else. Matter. Do anything else. Just do anything for? but pick up just that Get on with it, it's just phone. there. Do it. Come on, Come don't on, listen hurry to him. Up. Just what are you waiting relax. for? Relax. Do it, it's just do there. Do something else. What are you doing? Keep a balanced life. That's the most important thing. The middle path, balance, that's the key here. So where is this middle path and how do I get there? I'm starting to view my internet addiction from a different angle. I'm thinking that maybe part of the answer has been around me this whole time. I used to think that if I wasn't using social media, I was constantly missing out. But I've started to realise what I'm actually missing out on is life. If I can shift my attention, focus on the things around me, using all of my senses, maybe that's a way to start reconnecting with the world that I left behind. It might just involve learning to appreciate the little things in life, choosing not to judge, just to experience. I know it's going to be a difficult road ahead. I'm not just going to give up social media entirely, that's just unrealistic. What I have to learn is moderation, maintaining a balance that works best for me. I know I'll lapse every now and again, but I'm looking forward to the challenge ahead.